explain the different types of keys with the help of a diagram. The different types of keys are sunk keys, saddle keys, tangent keys, round keys, splines and Kennedy keys. Sunk keys are further classified as rectangular sunk keys, square sunk keys, parallel sunk keys, jib head sunk keys, feather sunk keys and woodruff sunk keys. Saddle keys are further classified as flat saddle keys and hollow saddle keys. Now let us understand each of these keys one by one. Sunk keys are keys whose one half is in the keyway of the shaft and the other half is in the keyway of the hub of the rotating element. Rectangular sunk keys are keys whose width and height are not equal. Square sunk keys are keys whose width and height are equal. Parallel sunk keys are tapeless keys, having a rectangular or square cross section. It is used when the rotating element is required to slide along the shaft. Jib head keys are rectangular keys with a head at one end known as jib head. It is usually provided to facilitate the removal of key. Feather keys are parallel keys which are fixed either to the shaft or hub. It permits relative axial movement between the shaft and hub and prevents relative rotational movement between them. Woodruff key is a segment from a cylindrical disc as shown. The keyway in the shaft is in the form of a semicircular recess with the same curvature as that of the key. The lower portion of this key fits into the circular keyway in the shaft. Saddle keys are keys that fit in the keyway of the hub only. As there is no keyway on the shaft, power transmission in the saddle key takes place due to the frictional forces. Flat saddle keys have a flat surface at the bottom and it sits on the flat surface machined on the shaft. It is likely to slip round the shaft under load, so it is used for comparatively lighter loads. Hollow saddle keys have a concave surface at the bottom to match the circular surface of the shaft. Tangent keys are fitted in pair at right angles for mating bodies of rectangular cross section as shown. Each key has one inclined side face whose inclination proportion, that is, taper, ranges between 1 is to 60 and 1 is to 100. With its inclined surface turned towards each other, the keys are driven into inclined key slots and hub keyways. Each key withstands torque in one direction only. Round keys are circular in section and fit into holes drilled partly in the shaft and partly in the hub. Splines are inbuilt keys which are formed by shaping the outer circumference of the shaft and the inner circumference of the hub. With tooth like structures, they are used when there is a relative axial motion between the shaft and the hub. 
Kennedy keys consists of two square keys, which are mounted in the shaft as shown. In this case, the hub is bored of the center. And the two keys force the hub and the shaft to a concentric position.